You're listening to the Music Millionaire Show, the podcast that inspires musicians to be in control of their music career. My name is SG1, and I'm the co-founder of the Grammy Award-winning production team and record label, The Peacemakers. And we're best known for working with artists like Dr. Dre and a plethora of platinum and award-winning artists. So I challenge musicians like yourself to learn the music business ins and outs to understand that success isn't by chance, it's by design. So get ready for your perception of the music industry to be challenged. Welcome to Music Millionaires. You have to see it before you become it. Peace and blessings, family. What's going on? It's your man, SG1 from the Grammy Award winner team, The Peacemakers. And welcome back to another Music Millionaires podcast with my co-host, David E. Maxwell. David, what's going on, family? All is well, my bro. All is well. How's everything been, bro? Uh, I can't complain. You know, life happens. Life is good, actually. It's, and, you know, people say it's what you make it. That's a true statement. <laughs> no, that's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm excited today because we have a good friend of mine and a very, 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 very special um, uh, uh, person that's coming on, a friend that's coming on that we're interviewing, a guest. And um, bro, been in the game for a minute, man. He got a lot to go on. So I'm excited to talk about that and also share his experience in the music industry and, and some trials and tribulations that he's had. However... If you have not, and this is your first time to the podcast, make sure you subscribe no matter what you're listening on, whether it's iTunes, whether it's Anchor, whatever you're listening to, make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified when we put out new podcasts. Also, make sure you stop by our websites, music-millionaires.com and davidemaxwellbeats.com so we can provide some kind of service to you. Dave, um, what's been going on as far as in the news, bro? Oh uh, man, a lot's been happening actually, you know, it's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's amazing sometimes that we see a lot of things that go on in the news and things that we can relate to in our personal lives, you know, it gives us confirmation. And for me, a lot of it, it gives also motivation to continue to do what I'm doing to provide for my family. That's a fact. That's a fact. And, and it knows it's, it's so bad, uh, because of all of the crazy news that we do get and all the things that's going on in the world, especially in the world of music. And uh, it's, it's real sad, honestly, because, you know, we are one of the only genres of music that is constantly filled with controversy. And, you know, I, I, I liken it to at one point in time, uh, Gene Simmons said something that was very pivotal. And I think I put it on one of my podcasts before. But he said something about rappers being the new rock stars, right? And, and you know how the, the, the new rock stars are the rappers because they're not there. They're unapolog unapologetically just flashing. They're constantly showing you this is the life I want to live. But yeah. then on the, on the flip side of that, you know, there's consequences behind it. You know what I mean? Because with that comes all of the negativity and the trolling and all the things that happens, you know, within the rap arena. And that controversy is a large part of what we're going to be talking about today. So let's do this, Dave. Let's go ahead and introduce our guest today and very close friend. I'd like to introduce to you guys my friend, Casino Roulette. Casino, what's How going on, What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for having me. Oh, peace and blessings, uh, man. Thank you yeah. for uh, being on here. Man. Thank you. Thank you for being on here, man. And you know, Dave, um, I recently got a chance to spend time with Casino, man, in, in his hometown of Spartanburg, South Carolina, and um, got a chance to really, really get a lot of insight. And me and Casino chopped it up, man, and uh, it was it was beautiful, brother. I mean, we, we spent the entire day together and um, learned a lot about each other, brother. And I uh, really want to say, man, thank you so much for all that you did, brother, and and um, especially lunch. Thank you for lunch, too. I mean, that spicy food got me. <laughs> My but, uh, Casino, let's do this, brother. Uh, if you don't mind, can you inform our audience who you are, what you do, and then basically let's go into, you know, a little bit about yourself. But tell the audience who you are, Jack. Um, Who am I? I'm a survivor. Um, like you say, my name is um, Casino Roulette. That's C-A dollar sign I-N-O R-O-U-L-E-T-T-E. -E. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, but like you say, I now reside in South Carolina. Um, I've been in the music industry for quite some time now. Um, I just recently, within the last few years, started to, you know, uh, build up my fan base, started to, um, build up my notoriety, such as in my surrounding areas. Um, 
who am I? I'm just an average man, you know, on a mission to change the world if God allowed me to. You know what I mean? Through music, through my story of trials and tribulations, my stories of survival, my stories of, you know, never giving up. And that's what's up, brother. Let me ask you something. So you're in the music industry. So you're a rapper, right? I wouldn't even classify myself as a rapper. You know, okay. um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, artist. I'm not even going to say an artist. I'm just, I, I put pain on paper. Whatever I go through, that's what I write. I'm not even going to say it's an artist. I just, it's a gift. I don't even know what I do when I do it until after it's done. You know what I mean? I hear the voices that tell me what to say. And as I repeat it over and over and over, it becomes audible enough for me to understand it. Then I write it down. So whatever you call that. A messenger. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I, that's why, I, that's why I wouldn't even say an entertainer, a rapper, or an artist. There you go. A messenger. That sounds, that sounds more right. like a prophet okay. because it's coming from somewhere else other than myself. Cool. Right, right. And, and that's one of the reasons why I mentioned that and I said that was because I think oftentimes, uh, in the music world, titles hurt us. And, and one of those titles for a lot of us, especially with experience, no different than being a producer. You know, for most, most artists, um, keyword being artists is, we don't like the stigma of wearing a title like rapper. But when people go to your Instagram page or they may go to your Spotify, they may interpret that from you, that you are a, a rapper. But when right. it comes to the diversity that you are as a musician, just from what I've heard in your music, you are so much more. And, 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 and David hit it right on oh. the nose, man. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people also, they want to know, they say, okay, who is this person? And right away, people identify you with what you do. But the question is, who are you, not what do you do? And that seems to be the, uh, the, the going, the stigmatism that, that's placed around us because of what people see. They think that's who we are. Right. Absolutely. Now, um, so, you know, what, what you working on right now? Are you working on any projects? Um, actually, I just recently put out my latest single, um, PTSD, which is um, – Exactly what it is, PTSD, a traumatic experience, you know, that you go through after suffering a scary event, you know. Um, so I just recently uh, finished that project going out. Now I'm um, actually in the midst of uh, promoting that project as well as making way for something new, which is my new gospel record. I've just actually... Um, I just actually prophetically... Um, written down and now want to record and put out for the world. So that's my latest endeavor. But my project PTSD is out now. So, and, and for those who are listening, you know, um, PTSD basically stands for post traumatic stress syndrome, or is it, did I say disorder? Right? Disorder. Post traumatic stress disorder. Okay. Yes, sir. And it normally comes from uh, experiencing a tragic event or something so traumatizing that it creates, um, what's the best way to describe that? How, how would you describe what it creates, Casino? It creates um, depression, it creates confusion, you know, um, all the things that's negative to a productive life, it causes that. Right, right, and, and I would agree with you, you know what I mean, you know, my, I myself, and I share this openly now with people, you know, went through a situation a couple of years ago where I, I witnessed my son kill my best friend and, and my, my, my brother, my security guard. And, uh, I definitely suffered from that PTSD, you know what I mean? And, 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 and was depression was the main thing that set in for me, mm. you know, um, because you experience something like that and, and it's, and it's very traumatizing. And so obviously with a, uh, a music composition called PTSD, there is a story or a backstory behind the motivation to this particular track, correct? Yes, sir. Now, Casino, let's 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 do this. Let's talk about the backstory, the 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 essence behind the PTSD um, track. Let's let's talk about what was the core behind you creating that music. If you don't mind sharing. It was a little less or a little, about eight months ago, there was an incident that happened in your life? Yes, sir. Um, 
June the 2nd, to be exact, 2018, I was riding passenger seat in the car with my brother, um, rapper, loving hip hop star, Lil Scrappy. We was in Miami. You know, we had just finished um, doing a um, show in South Carolina that I had through um, Friday night. So as we leave South Carolina, you know, after the show is done, you know, I drive from Union, which is where the show was, to my home in Spartanburg. Um, Kiss the wife, you know how you normally do before you're heading on the road. You know, I told her, I said, hey, stay in contact with me. You know, because that night, you know, it's crazy to say this, but I felt like something was going to happen. I didn't know what, you know, I knew something was going to happen after the night, because I started feeling like that. You know, let me... Let me do a little backup because before Scrappy was able to come to my house, he had to get his wheel off of his car. You know, his wheel had welded onto his car. And this is something that don't normally happen. His wheel had welded onto his car. Like the lugs had pretty much grinded so far in to where it didn't, it had welded the tire onto the, 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 the part of the car. Wow. So he sent me pictures. He was like, bro, I might not be able to make this. Now we had just, we, we had already um, rescheduled the show because the show had initially supposed to have been in April. Now, before we finish with this interview, we just want to let you know that you are not listening to the entire interview. We had to cut it down for the purposes of time. But go into the description below. Go to the podcast. Listen to the entire interview. I promise you it's well worth it because it's going to definitely clarify these rumors and and he's telling us exactly what happened so for the sake of time click on the link below in the description go directly to the podcast listen to it for yourself or listen to it off your itunes or spotify account but i definitely suggest you listen to this interview now we're going to go back to another portion of the interview and and what i was trying to get to casino was as, as i'm marking all this stuff down you felt you felt like something internally was going to go down because so you made the statement to your wife, make sure she stayed in contact, right? Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And in the midst of that preparation to go out of town with Little Scrappy and and you guys uh, do what you need to do, he contacted you about a will issue, and that you possibly he possibly wasn't going to be able to make it because of that lug nut or bolt being welded onto the daggum wheel. Correct? Uh, yes, sir. In the midst of that, driving, you hit a pothole, <laughs> right? Another sign. Yes, sir. And then finally, and, I, and I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not denoting the entire story, but I'm looking at all of the key points that you made. Finally, right before you start your story of, of what happened, you say that you had uh, met up with a YouTuber and they, you, you guys was leaving. I guess you were leaving King of Diamond at that time? Yes, sir. Okay. And he was driving erratically and you was getting ready to call him to tell him to slow down. Let's start from there. Yeah. Yes, sir. I was getting ready to call him to tell him to slow down. And like I say, I don't know. I guess I, I, I fell asleep, you know, um, but backing up just a little bit, like I like like you said, uh, my wife, she still reminds me of this to this day. Like she was like, I don't know if you knew something was going to happen or you felt that she was like because that, that look in your eyes she was like it was like you it, she was like i i just can't explain it mm. so you know like i say i was getting ready to call him and tell him man slow down you don't know where you at but nonetheless i guess i i fell asleep and from that moment i woke up because the reason why i woke up is because i felt the car drifting you know like 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 i i, I don't even know you know i can't even say but I just felt the car drifting and it made me wake up. And when I woke up, we was moving and I looked over, Scrap was asleep, mouth wide open. He was knocked out. Huh. I said, bro, and woke him up. And when I woke him up, he looked at me. He said, huh? And I guess in the midst of being startled, he hit the gas instead of the brake. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when he hit the gas, I said, oh, shit. And I put my hand on the dashboard. I said, oh, stop, bro, stop. So I, in the midst of me putting my hand on the dashboard, something told me to move my hand. So I pulled my hands back. And as you can see, like, 
you see like it's like the car sped up. That's when the you see it like skipping in. That's because it's in it's on the sidewalk and on the street still. Mm -hmm. So uh but as he's turning the wheel, I can see I said, Oh shit, I see this big pole, this big column coming towards us and it's mainly in front of me. I said, Oh shit, bruh. Boom, and we hit. Wow. And when we hit, I said, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I took the seat belt off and I jumped out. Lord, Lord, patting my body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was just patting my body up and down because I, I felt as if I didn't know if it was like a ghost moment, you know, like I'm out of my body, but I think I'm in my body. So I'm just patting my body. Mm. So then when I turn around and I look at the, look at the car. That's you know, because I'm looking at the car to see if my body's still, still in there. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if I'm having an out of body experience. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 That's real. So, that's when real. I turn, so as I turn and look at the car, I see Scrappy. You know, the airbag is out and his face is toward me and it's filled with blood all on the airbag in his face. I said, Lord, it can't end like this. Lord, don't let it end like this. Mm. No, guys, again. I didn't want to play the entire podcast. You got to go in the description below. Go listen to it for yourself. It is a story that is phenomenal. There's many rumors behind it. There's been many speculations. There's been a lot of assumptions. But to hear it out of Casino Roulette's mouth firsthand, what happened will definitely become an eye opener for you. For all those who knew or for those of you who didn't even know this happened, I suggest you go into the description below. Listen to the rest of the podcast.